think I should confront her? I simply want her heart. Okay. I gotta go. Later. Thank you. Yes, that's him. Can I eat something to drink? Uh, hot tea? Herbal or? Any herbal is fine. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. I still have a vivid memory of the first time meeting you. You were wearing this blue dress, trying to act interested at a company <laughs> party. <laughs> that seems like a long time ago. Yeah, well, thank you for meeting me here today. Also, sir, my shift is getting over and I need to close the tab. Okay. Uh, the restaurant is closing, but you guys are welcome to stay. No rush at all. Yeah, of course. Um, the balance is yours. Thank you. No <laughs> and um, I'll refresh your coffee. Thank you. Thank you. I was reading and I wonder, can a man and a woman be friends? without intimacy? Maybe the better question would be, can a married man and a married woman be friends without provoking spousal jealousy? A gay man and a lesbian woman could be friends because they're not sexually attracted. Likewise, a secret friendship shouldn't cause jealousy. This is only our second meeting and already so intense. Yeah, it's a, a friendship developing quickly. And we're both married. The reason to be friends without intimacy. And given the circumstance, our spouses have no justification to be jealous. <sighs> okay. What was your first clue? of the affair? A behavior change. Her wanting to take a shower together. And you? Your wife Marcy is so careless. <laughs> Leaving a trail of makeup on my husband's collar. Class. I wonder if it's love, or if it's just a convenient office flight. Are you going to confront her? I have been pondering that. Knowing she's having an affair and sleeping next to her has this odd voyeuristic feel to it. Almost like I'm in control now because the secret's mine. It's no longer hers. I think for now, I don't want to confront her. This conversation feels very therapeutic. I have thought about every possible scenario. Your son? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. My son. Children are the victims here. Did 
didn't see that coming. Hi, honey. Yeah, I'm with the girlfriend. Okay, 6 p.m. Bye. I also am not going to confront. But I want to meet again. Soon. I'll text you. That reminds me. I need to make a call. Okay. Um. Well, uh... Goodbye. Hi, Marcy. It's Gail. He doesn't know. We need to meet tomorrow. Okay. 7 a.m. I forgot my phone. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. What are you having for dinner? Spaghetti. No sense, spaghetti.